Section 4 of AS 3008 lists a number of methods relating to voltage drop. We will be concentrating on the millivolt per ampere meter method. We will be focusing on tables 40 through to 51 in AS 3008. I previously suggested you highlight those tables in Appendix B of AS 3008. AS3008 states voltage drop shall be such that it does not exceed 5% between the point of supply and any other point within the electrical installation. In a three phase installation such as this, that value is no greater than 20 volts. This exercise is to select the appropriate cable size of a circuit when you are aware of the maximum permissible voltage drop. This three phase installation has an established voltage drop of 12 volts across the consumer's mains. This means that the maximum permissible voltage drop across a final sub-circuit is 8 volts. The voltage drop equations are listed in section 4 of AS3008. As we are seeking the value of VC, we'll use VC equals VD multiplied by 1000 all divided by length multiplied by current. The cable is a four core on earth with V90 insulation with a circuit length of 30 meters and a maximum demand of 32 amperes. Populating our equation as such, we can calculate the value of VC to be 8.33 millivolts per ampere meter. Because this is a three phase arrangement, we do not need to convert any of the values from the tables. This means that our selected cable can have a voltage drop of no more than 8.33 millivolts for every ampere flowing through it for every metre of its length. Table 42 is the appropriate table for multi-core copper cables. Column 6 for 75 degrees we find that 8.33 falls between 9.71 and 6.49. This means that 4 mm square has too high a value of voltage drop, so we will move down to 6 mm squared. Larger cables have lower voltage drop values. A 630 mm squared cable would be brilliant to minimise voltage drop but you cannot fit it in the light switch terminals. Using a 6mm squared cable on a 32 amp circuit may sound excessive from a current carrying capacity, but delivering 32 amps a distance of 30 metres is a substantial undertaking and this is why voltage drop considerations are necessary.